Hey folks, Crazy Calamity here again, and this time we're going to look at a game called Nibbler, and this was created by Rockola in 1982, late 1982, and this is a re-upload of an older video I did. Um, I didn't like the sound quality of it, or the gameplay in particular, so I'm going to re-upload it with better audio quality and gameplay, and this was created by Joe... Ulawets and John Jagilas, Hagilas, I don't know, but uh, they were the main makers of the game, and it was licensed to, they worked for Rockola, it, with assistance by Lonnie Ropp and Joe Beck, and uh, all of those guys have their initials in the high score list, but this is a semi- semi-classic among hardcore arcade gamers of the 80s. This is a skill game and uh, you are a segmented uh, like a centipede or a caterpillar and uh, your goal is to eat all the dots on the screen and uh, as you eat your body grows you get a really long tail and uh, there are no enemies in the game the way to die is to run into your own tail or to run out of time Let's see there's the instructions now this is one ROM set and it has uh, I think Pioneer Balloon music which is another game from Rockola but uh, this uh, this game is really, really difficult in the later levels. Right away, it's not that hard. But your, uh, your creature's uh, tail grows much, much longer, and the game speeds up way quicker as you get further in the game. But uh, it gets real easy to run into your own tail and kill yourself. But uh, it takes quite a bit of uh, of getting used to the speed and uh, uh, knowing ahead of time where the placement of the the food stuff that you need to eat is going to be. This is one of those games I was never very good at. There are guy, there are hardcore gamers that can get in the millions, billions. I can't even dream of doing that. I am not good at this game. Uh, but it just, it just gets so fast. See, it's just so crazy quick that I just, I just can't get used to it. Oops. If you, if you run into a wall. You have a brief moment of time to decide which direction you want to go, and then the computer does it for you. But if you go without eating for a while, the timer will start to run fast. And uh, you get a bonus for whatever time is left when you complete a, a maze, when you eat all the food. There we go. But this game is just so damn hard, I cannot get used to it. The only control in this game is an eight-way joystick. That's really all you need. But, ah, damn it. My tail almost got out of the way. But yeah, this game is really hard. I only saw this once. It was at a nickel arcade back in the early to mid-80s. But, uh... Oh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> I guess, uh, what, what the experts might tell you is try to, uh, clear out the middle of the maze first. Because, uh, your tail gets so long that when you're trying to get the outer areas... Oh, come on. There we go. When you try to get the outer areas with a big, long tail, your chances of running into it are increased. So you'll want to not 
not worry about the middle of the maze last. Ah, for F's sake. <laughs> well, that wasn't a very great game, but I'll put in my initials. I'm going to play one more time. That was the uh, version that has the Pioneer Balloon music from the uh, Pioneer Balloon game for Rockola. And I think that was uh, actually by SNK and licensed to Rockola, but it has that same music in this. The other, there was another ROM set or another version that has uh, no music, and I'll, I'll play that next. But uh, again, this was created by Joe Ulowetz and John Hogilus, Jogilus. And uh, with help from Lonnie Ropp and Joe Beck. And uh, they all worked for Rockola. And this was created in late 1982. I think it might have generally seen arcade release in, release in 1983. But yeah, you have to not run out of time and you have to not run into your own tail. Those are the ways to lose a life. You get an extra life at the start of every fourth level, which is probably uh, operator adjustable through dip switches. But yeah, he he's moves really slow in this first maze, but he picks up speed so quickly, and on the later levels it's just so borderline impossible in, in my opinion. This game is so friggin' hard. But uh, you have to start knowing ahead of time whether it's a good idea to pick up uh, food items that are left uh, in certain areas or not. Whether or not you'll get trapped. And uh, don't don't get trapped by your tail uh, if you're if you're moving vertically, picking up items. You can easily run out of room and go, oh crap, I shouldn't have gone this way. Ah, dang it. God, you just you just run out of room with your damn tail. I just I cannot get good at this game. But again you get an extra nibbler at the start of every fourth level. Or wave, they call it. Yeah, there are there are so many gamers that can just... that can just uh, kill this game, and I, I don't get it. But this is the first game to uh, allow a billions, a score in the billions, or to display a score in the billions. Whoa, <laughs> doing better than I thought I would. But God, this game is so freaking hard. And yeah, I totally ran out of room there. That was not smart. But you just move so damn fast and you have so little time to think. This game is just so unfair at times. Whoops. There we go. Now, this is by far the best I've ever done on this game. Ah, uh, that was... Oh my god, I lucked out. I very nearly ran into my own tail. Ah, oh crap, I just didn't have time to... Time to think. I wish that they... That, like, on your next life after you die, that they would slow it down for you. But no. Ah, uh, this game is so freaking hard. <laughs> I am no good at this. You know, if you need to, if you need to take, oops, if you need to reroute and go the long way around or, you know, whatever, to keep from, ah, that was dumb, to keep from running into your own tail, do so. <laughs> um, you have maybe a little tiny bit more time than you think. Oh, damn it, I just lost control there. <laughs> Well, that was easily the best I've ever done on that game. 
Well, it's helpful if you've you've almost run out of the, if you've uh, lost a life and you almost had gotten all the food stuff and then on your next life you get the last one and you'll have tons of time to add to your score. That is pretty nice. Well, here's if you insert certain letters initials J H U which is Joe Ulowitz's initials, it says you have the same initials as my author. If you put in the initials of his girlfriend, which is, I think, now his wife, MRS, Mary, something or other, then you get this message. It says, you have the same initials as my angel. Aww. <laughs> well, that is Nibbler, a, a re-upload of mine by Rockola in 1983, or in 1982, late 1982. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Nibbler, a pseudo-classic uh, by Rockola, and I will catch you later with another video. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.